In the Stouty family, they're bizarrely dying off, one after another. Husband, dead of natural causes. There was no autopsy, no testing. He was cremated. Rashes were scattered at a lake. That was it. A son, dead from seizures. And I'm like, oh my God, this mother must be devastated. She lost her husband, now she loses her, her son. A daughter hanging on to life in the ER with flu-like symptoms. Yes. Okay. <laughs> she was as close to death as you could get. And a mother and wife, a devout church organist, left to shoulder the burden. Either this is a terribly unlucky family or something fishy happened here. But just how fishy? That's what police want to find out in a stunning interrogation. Oh, dear God. Tonight, piecing together the secrets in a highly unusual family, the tell-all diary. Their bedside reading? He had a book on poisonous plants. Their garage, always prepared for an emergency. Who has antifreeze in the summertime? And a very strange way of expressing sympathy. I didn't want another one to die in the house. And why is that? Because houses are nasty after somebody's died in it. So who's left in the family if they can survive long enough? Did you think somebody else was going to be next? Talking on camera for the first time only to 2020, the daughter who did live to tell. I consider them as killers who hate me. What's wrong with these people? What were you thinking at that point? About another one. <laughs> A family plot.